Hello, everybody. It is I, Lord Tamberlin again, bringing you a box. Pretty exciting. Well, inside this MDF box is yet another obscurity in miniature from Klukva Miniatures out of Russia. And what do we have today for us besides a piece of cotton? We've got the Demon Warrior. Yes, he's a bunch of parts in the bag. We're going to show you what he is. I was super, super excited to get this figure. And I will explain why in just a moment. Oh, and a base. So our Demon Warrior friend here comes in just three easy to put together pieces. And hopefully I can't be the only one who seems to know what this guy is referencing. If you've ever played Kingdom Under Fire on either the Xbox or the PC, a fun strategy game out of Korea, he is awfully familiar. And that's a good thing because Renye was one of my favorite characters in the game. So thank you, thank you, thank you for putting this figure out. He is quite the detailed chap. You can see a little bit of his face mask there. One of the things with the character this is based on, you never saw his face. He was always encased in more and more armor as the game went. He started off as a simple barbarian, and by the end of the game, you couldn't even see the man inside the suit. It was just a hulking chaos behemoth by the end of the game. So he was always a favorite of mine. I am very eager to put him together, but let's take a look at how he stacks up to some other figures. Uh, I do like his sword. It's very nightmarish if uh, you're familiar with Soul Calibur. All kinds of gribbly chaos type details on that. I'm not sure how I'm going to paint that exactly. I'm thinking a very fleshy style. Um, his other hand is beckoning, if I can find it. Beckoning his opponents to come at him. Very nicely detailed and sculpted. I don't think I'm going to have to do a whole lot of cleanup on him. Uh, hopefully the parts are going to fit nice and neat inside their slots. And so I have another clue of a figure here. He's been on here before, the Black Swordsman. Of course he's been painted since then. So he's a pretty good size compared to him. Um, Renier, the character that this demon warrior is supposed to be based on, was supposed to have been a human after all. It's not until the end of the game that he became even more and more ridiculously sized. Stacking him up with a GW Chaos Warrior. A um, little smaller, but uh, also the proportions are a little bit more realistic. Let's see, grabbing some other human figures. We've got my go-to Inquisitor, who happens to be downstairs with me at all times, because he's just a handsome, dapper chap. So you can see, good, decent size figure. And if we're going to go with other obscure video game references, we'll just toss Dante in there while we're at it. Cat and Dante, pretty close in size. And just to see, I'm curious. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. My Dark Earth, Dark Oath Barbarian is a little bit bigger, but I don't know. They, who knows what that buffs them up up there in the north, wherever the Chaos dudes live. So, anyway, our Demon Warrior friend here is an eagerly awaited figure from me. Thanks again, Klukva, for producing something so obscure and interesting. And I hope you go and dig up some more interesting nuggets of video game history because I'm going to be more than happy to purchase them. Such as Darksiders. That would be a good choice, wouldn't it? And with that said, I will leave you all to go glue this guy and get him primed and get to work on him right away. This has been Hylor Tamerlane with Obscurities in Miniature. Thanks for watching. Bye.